Hey guys, I think a lot of people don't know that IBM, the personal computer company from the 90s, is actually still around today and one of the leaders in quantum computing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access their quantum computers and run your own programs on them. Okay, so we're going to start off at the IBM quantum computing website. So the first thing we need to do is we need to launch the IBM Quantum Experience on the top right. And we're gonna sign into the IBM Quantum Experience. I'm gonna use the uh, Google sign-in, but you can use whatever sign-in method you prefer. Okay, so once we've successfully signed in, this is what the IBM Quantum Experience looks like. You can see here on the right, these are the quantum computers that are available to us. There are nine in total, though one of them is actually just a simulator. So it's actually just eight quantum computers. Um, they all have different number of qubits. The one with the highest number of qubits is the one in Melbourne with 15 qubits. Then we have a bunch of quantum computers with five qubits and one with just one qubit. So if we click onto one of those quantum computers, it's going to show us the layout of the physical qubits and it's going to also show us the error rate of single qubit operations and two qubit operations and it also shows us the number of jobs that are currently in the queue so if you run a program you want to choose a quantum computer that doesn't have a lot of um, jobs in the queue such that your program executes faster then you can also see here the latest results. So this is going to list all of your jobs and the status of your jobs. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right and we're going to click on my account where you can find um, everything you need to run IBM programs. OK, so the first thing that you want to install is Python. Make sure that you install a new version of Python. Everything above Python 3.5 works. So once you've installed Python, the next thing that you want to install is Jupyter, a Jupyter notebook or a Jupyter lab notebook. So this is a really convenient um, way of executing Python programs in a very interactive manner. And so the next thing that you need once you've installed that is Qiskit. Qiskit is a Python module that allows you to code uh, quantum computing programs and run them on the IBM computers. And it can be installed very easily by just typing pip install Qiskit into your terminal. All right, so once we've installed everything, uh, we're gonna open up a Jupyter notebook or a Jupyter lab notebook and we're going to start off by importing um, Qiskit and to check out if everything has worked out fine. Okay, let's run this cell and we can see in the bottom left that we have successfully imported everything. So now the next step is going to be to save the access token from the IBM quantum experience. So let's go back to the IBM quantum experience. Um, copy the token and um, save the token. So we're going to type IBM Q dot save uh, underscore account. And now we're just going to paste the um, token and we're going to run the cell. And it has successfully run. So now let's just check if we have um, proper access to the IBM computers by um, loading our account. Okay, great. So you can see that we have successfully logged in. And so now we can run our own quantum computing programs. And I will just um, now code a really simple quantum computing program that is gonna uh, generate us either zero or one with a 50-50% probability. So essentially just uh, flipping a coin on a quantum computer. OK, 
Okay, so before we run our program, we need to specify the backend. And the backend is the quantum computer that you want to run your program on. So let's go back to the IBM Quantum Experience and let's have a look at the quantum computers that are uh, currently not in use. So you can see that we could choose the IBM computer in London, the one in Burlington or the one in Yorktown to execute our uh, program fast. So let's just use the one in London. Let's just um, copy, copy the name and um, paste it back in here into the backend. And so now let's just execute the cell and uh, see what we get. Okay, great. So we have executed our program and um, we could have gotten here uh, zero or one. So the quantum computer decided to give us a one. And um, if we now go back here to the IBM quantum experience and we refresh the page, uh, we can see here at the bottom that we have completed successfully completed a job at the IBM quantum computer in London. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe for more quantum related content.